So this is the Motorola Dext. It is also known as the Motorola Click in the United States. In Singapore and around Asia, it will be known as the Motorola Dext. And it is Motorola's first uh, Android phone that's going to be on sale in Singapore, yeah. which is uh, which is pretty cool. So um, you know we're just going to go through uh, the usual things. We're going to go through the hardware, you know, the features, uh, uh, the buttons, and things like that. And then we're also going to go through the software. This is an Android phone, as we mentioned. So we're going to look at a, a little bit about uh, you know how smooth is the software, as well as uh, something known as Moto Blur, which is this uh, custom uh, software that uh, Motorola has added on to the Motorola Dex. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit more about that later. So let's talk about, let's start with the hardware. Um, <clears throat> you have uh, the speakers right here. This is a 3.1 inch display, uh, 320 pixels by 480 pixels. Mm -hmm. So this is actually the exact same resolution as an iPhone, but this is a 3.1 inch display, so it's smaller than some of the uh, other smartphones around. A capacitive touchscreen, okay. By the way, even though this is actually a capacitive touchscreen, right, the phone has no multi-touch. Right, so just one thing that you might, in case you're wondering, this phone does not have multi-touch, okay? And then you have here uh, the home button, also the menu button, the back button, as well as the uh, the contextual menu button. These are some uh, uh, Android-specific buttons, all right? Uh, these are physical buttons, they're not touch-sensitive buttons, okay, just to mention that, okay? Uh, which we want to highlight this one because most Android phones usually have about five or six buttons, Yeah. right? So having just three buttons is a very nice um, design touch. The buttons that, that are not here are the call and hang up buttons as well as the uh, search button. The search button. <clears throat> so those uh, those buttons are not there, all right? So let's take a look at the, the, uh, the top first, okay? So here you have the... The, the on off switch for the display as well as the lock switch, right? Yep. And then um, the power button as well. And then over here you have the camera button. Um, so it's a very nice uh, design where uh, you can see the, the little printing. I know it's upside down, but you know. Uh, and it's a, it's a proper camera button. So meaning that, you know, this is actually two level. You touch it, pr press it slowly down, it's a uh, focus, and then push it all the way down to take a picture. Yep. Alright? So that is th this side. Uh, on the top here you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. A really really nice touch because you know you can actually use your own headphones. Yes. Yeah. So which is pretty pretty brilliant. We we love uh, the headphones, uh, smartphones which come with three point five millimeter jacks. Here you have the, um, the the ringer switch, so you know you can switch it to you can put it to silent mode quite quite easily from here. Uh, you need fingernails to do to actually flick the switch. That's one. Because it's relatively flush to the. Yeah, PC. it's quite flush. Um, not sure you can see, but it's very flush to the, the to the surface. So you need a fingernail to kind of like dig it in and switch it. Uh, from uh, silent mode and stuff like that. Okay, so here you have the volume switch and a micro USB port. Mm -hmm. Once again, another good standard. Um, yeah. You know, you can use this to charge as well as data. Yeah. All right. So, uh, being a smartphone, you know, you have you know like uh, uh, MP3 player, uh, I mean audio player inside and all that. Uh, it comes with a software known as the Motorola Media Link. Yeah. It's a Windows only application, not for the Mac. All right. Um, for now. And uh, so with this software, you, you can use it to transfer uh, music and pictures into the device. If you're on a Mac, um, you know you can actually go look for um, the uh, what do you call it, Double Twist, right? DoubleTwist.com and search for their free application, which uh, allows you to sync with Android devices. So um, that's on this side. Nothing on this side. At the back here, let's take a look. Uh, a very nice, uh, interesting d pattern here. We haven't figured out what it means yet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if it's some secret code, but um, yeah, it's a very nice design here. And then you have a 5.0 megapixel camera with autofocus, which is pretty cool. All right, um, this is uh, actually expendable by micro SD, but you need to take out the battery cover to access the micro SD card. You don't need to take out the battery though, and um, they have this very interesting design where they have this little door kind of that uh, holds, uh, kind of locks the card inside there. Okay, and the, and the SIM card is here. You obviously need to remove the battery to take out the SIM card. Yeah. So that's um, that's pretty much the, the hardware. Oh yes, of course. The most important thing about this Motorola Click. Um, Click. Sorry, the Motorola Dex. Yes. <laughs> is of course the keyboard. Oh, and you, if you're noticing here, there's something quite interesting. Uh, if you notice, there's actually a, a LED light flashing right here. This is actually a notification light. This means yep. that you've just received an alert. All right. So anything that appears in your notification system uh, will actually but kind of cause this light. But you can easily turn it off as well. Yeah, you can, you can turn it off as well. 
course, is the QWERTY keyboard, which is pretty exciting. Um, so this is a pretty good QWERTY keyboard, I must say. It's actually, you know, well protruding outwards. I'm not sure if you can actually be able to tell. Yeah. So, you know, it's textured. You can touch type on this thing. Yes. Right, it's a proper QWERTY keyboard. Uh, you know, the, the space bar is a little small, but it's not too bad because, you know, you can really feel it. You, it's just like a, just good old, you know, the old keyboards that you know. I personally would have preferred the space bar to be slightly bigger mm, because bigger. I'll still end up hitting the symbol key and the search key by mistake. Mm, yes. So the symbol key, um, you know, allows you to select symbols that are not yes. within the keyboard itself. Yep. The alt key is the one that actually activates the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as well as the exclamation mark and all the other punctuation marks that's on this keyboard right here. Yep. Uh, shift keys are right here. The search key that was missing from the top is right now down here as well. Five-way navigation pad. And uh, that's pretty much the keyboard. It's, it's a pretty good keyboard. So for now, let's take a look at the um, Moto Blur. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Moto Blur is this social networking um, link, basically. It allows you to, it syncs up, uh, you know, apart from Google, of course, it's an Android phone, it syncs up Google. It does Facebook, MySpace, LastFM, Twitter, and all that. They will put them all into the phone itself and then kind of put widgets on the front screen. Um, to let, let you update statuses, which I will kind of show you later, right? Uh, so once once you do that, um, you know it does uh, it syncs with the, the, the you know allows you to actually import contacts from those various social networking sites. So I'm done adding accounts when displaying pictures from contacts. Prefer pictures from let's say Facebook. What this does is actually grab the images off Facebook or any other uh, any other social networks like Twitter or Google where you have specified. Mm. Yeah, so um, that that's um, what what it actually kind of does, love. So you know, it, it, just like the uh, no, your normal Android device. So you can see right now, see I have uh, messages, you know, my Twitter and all that. Mm -hmm. So this is a Twitter picture, the profile picture of uh, Sveska. So um, yeah, so then after that, when you click on the person, it will actually show this uh, the screen called the happenings, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which basically it's it's this one place where all your social networking sites they sync, correct? Yes. Yeah, and uh, uh, it it what syncs every fifteen minutes, is that right? Yep. So, you know, from here straight away, you can be able to assess most of the stuff. You can you do your usual Twitter things. So it's kind of integrated into the device, which is pretty cool. So you can actually see, you know, you have my, your email is here, your Twitter messages, they all appear in your notifications. They all come into the device itself. So, um, you know, it's just seeing, that's why you're seeing, you're seeing a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, likewise, you, you know, your, your, oops. So you can actually, as you can see here, I can actually uh, just type and immediately I can send off statuses. Yep. I can st send off statuses to all the services at one single, sh one shot. Right? Or being selective. Or being selective as well. And then show you the, you know, some of the, the, your, the, the, your current status, for example. Okay? And then you can take a look. Oops. Yeah. So, uh, your usual, the five panel. So as mm -hmm. you can see, they kind of customized uh, the, the, the widget screen as well. Right, and Google search, Facebook, everything is all integrated into it, so which is pretty cool. Um, and they have also changed the uh, the user interface a little bit, right? So, you know, immediately you can actually, uh, 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 it's just like your normal Android, except that it's kind of customized a little bit. You have yep. a shortcut to the call to the phone, which not a lot of Android phones have, ironically, right? So you know, immediately you can get to the the, the, the phone itself, make phone calls, uh, with with one touch, uh, which is kind of necessary since they removed the, the call button from the screen. And then uh, shortcut yeah, the contacts as well. The shortcut the contacts, and it syncs right. It syncs with Facebook and all. They import it all in, um, you know, which is uh which is quite cool. But basically, this is what Moto Moto Blur is all about. But you know, of course, you know this is nothing new to an Android phone, right? If you take a look at the HTC phones, they have HTC Sense, which does the same thing as well. Mm -hmm. You know, syncs in your Facebook your Twitter and all that all those kind of things so um, you know, this is Motorola's way of kind of adding a little bit more value to the vanilla Android but still do know that uh, other Android phones especially HTC Sense right, which is currently one of our favorites right now um, supports all these social networking features as well yep. um, another thing that we do we did take note about this device is that you know it, it does feel a little bit sluggish Right, compared to some of the newer devices that we see in the market today. So, uh, you know, we've been told that, it, I, I mean, if I'm not wrong, this phone does have quite a bit of RAM, but it's using an older processor. That's why it kind of feels a little bit sluggish. It, it's livable, but remember, right, Android, one thing about Android is that as time passes, right, when the more applications that you are running, the phone will get a bit more, more and more sluggish. So that is one thing to take note. And another thing, of course, is that the, the device itself, right, is, this is actually a Android 1.5. So if you take a look, the Android version is actually just only 1.5. So, um, but they do have uh, over the air updates. So hopefully, you know, the newer updates will make the, the phone smoother. You, you can live with it, right? The thing is that you, you can definitely live, live with uh, with this uh, this phone. It's just that uh, for devices only coming out now, it's a bit 
sluggish compared to its competitors. Yes. So that's one thing that you really need to take note of. 